Now, we've all been there when we've been looking for lost cables for our Android devices. See, even though Type-C is becoming the norm nowadays, it's still a wired connection. And yes, it's fast, but it's wired, so you'll have to rely on cables. Now, a lot of people are moving towards wireless. And in that aspect, I know a lot of you guys are concerned if there was a way to transfer data from your Android phone to your PC and vice versa. Well, guess what? There is. <laughs> in fact, not just one. There are a lot of apps out there that allow you to do this. But with so many apps out there, what are the best options? I know, I know it's a tricky question, but that's what we are here for. Hey guys, this is Varun from Guiding Tech and today I'll be talking about the five best apps that you can use to transfer data from your Android phone to your PC and vice versa. Well, let's get started. Okay, so the first app here on this list is Send Anywhere and <laughs> I know the name sounds great and over time it has become my favorite app in this genre. The process here is quite simple. It uses Wi-Fi Direct to transfer files without using internet. Simply head over to sendanywhere.com and click send and select the file you want to send to your device. Now all you have to do is enter the six digit generated key onto your Android phone. Now you can do that from within the app, but if you're short on space, you can open the same link in your phone's web browser and download the file directly from there as well. It's quite easy and the whole process works quite seamlessly, which makes it one of the best options out there. Now the next app on this list is Share It. And if you haven't heard about this app, you've probably been living under a rock. So Share It was brought to us by Lenovo. Yeah, Lenovo of all people, but yeah, Lenovo bought it and share it definitely normalized the trend of Wi-Fi direct and Wi-Fi sharing of files. The thing is, it's not as good of an app as it used to be. Now to use it to transfer data from your PC to your Android phone, all you'll have to do is to download the client on both the devices. Then simply click on send or receive on either device, depending upon who is the sender and the receiver. See, it's not a tough process, but the client on Windows has become unstable lately and the Android version is overloaded with ads and OTT content that makes it kind of deviating from the original idea. So yeah, I mean, the app is good, but the UI on both the devices is bad. By devices, I mean, obviously, Android phone and PC. So, I mean, it's good for the purpose that you want to use it for, but the overall UI may restrict you from using it that often. Okay, now here's one app that I genuinely love a lot, which is AirDroid. Now, instead of relying on just Wi-Fi Direct, it also comes with support for FTP, which basically means that you can browse your phone's internal storage as if you had it open from an Explorer window. No, seriously, it genuinely looks like that. The setup process is quite simple actually. Just download the AirDroid app on your Android phone and tap on AirDroid Web. Now, the app will give you two options, either to open the standard page on your PC or open a dedicated IP address. Now, personally, I prefer the latter one since it's more direct and offers direct and easy access to your phone's device. Once that is done, you can use your phone directly as if it was connected to your laptop's USB port. That's it, there's one caveat here, which is that both your laptop and your PC, whatever, and your phone have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network because the FTP link is created on that specific network itself. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Well, what if there was an app like Share It just without the over-the-top ads? Now, if you're imagining, just throw in a bit of AirDroid to it as well and voila, you have Zender in front of you. Now, seriously, it's one of the apps that combines both of the best parts of ShareIt and AirDroid. You get Wi-Fi Direct to share devices data from one device to another, basically from one Android phone to another Android phone in ShareIt. And there's also a Connect PC option, which basically is reminiscent of AirDroid. It's all super simple. Just download the app and give it the required permissions and you're off. Now there's a plus icon in the top right corner. Here, tap on connect PC and it will give you a similar IP address to access your device directly. Now, to be honest, there are still ads here and random content here and there that still exists inside the app. But unlike share it, it's not thrown at your face, which is kind of better. See, each app has to offer some level of ads and random content to keep itself growing and to monetize itself. But the way Zender manages things is definitely a lot better and something that I prefer as compared to share. Okay, so the last app on this list is one that I've personally been using for the longest time that I can imagine in this aspect. And 
द रीजन फॉर दैट इज बिकॉज इट्स सो मिनिमल एंड सो डैम से क्यो इट्स कॉल्ड फायर फॉक्स सेंट एंड इट कम्स फ्रॉम द हाउस ऑफ मोजला द सर्विस इज क्वाइट ईजी टू यूज जस्ट हेड ओवर टू द वेबसाइट एंड सिलेक्ट द फाइल यू वॉन्ट You can then customize the number of downloads here as well in case you want to share it to multiple devices at once. But what I love about Firefox Send here is the level of encryption on offer. See there are other apps like WeTransfer that offer higher data transfer limits, but the thing is Firefox Send is much more secure. That said if you want higher transfer limits, definitely WeTransfer is an equally recommendable service and I'll have that link down below as well. Personally for me Firefox Send is much better it's more convenient and yeah I prefer that Now one thing that I have to highlight is that regardless of whether you're using Firefox Send or WeTransfer the thing is that you can only transfer one file at a time each link that will be generated will be for one specific file so that is something that you have to keep in mind Well that was it as always you can find the download link to all of the apps and services that I've mentioned in the description box below Now I'm sure there are certain apps that I may not have talked about and you guys absolutely love them. So, well, educate me sound off in the comments below and let me know what are the apps that you guys prefer. Also, if you want a definite list of some other apps for other kind of solutions, sound that off as well. This is Varun from Guiding Tech and I'll definitely see you in the next one.